again walking fans has to be said this is not one of my greatest video productions but uh, I tried my best on a difficult day walking wise and wind wise that's atmospheric not personal shortly after leaving Marazan we had marvelous views back across Mount Spain we could take in all that we had walked so far deeply impressive to Andy and me anyway on with the walk Andy and me had done a thrilling walk the day before, but this is a walk where I definitely felt I'd bit off more than I could chew. One of our longest walks, in fact, it turned out to be our second longest ever of the 54. And it wasn't arduous, but I just flagged. Maybe it was the weather. It was dark and brooding all, all walk long and got worse. Uh, maybe it's because I lost my favourite grey baseball cap. I don't really know what it was, but it's just one of those days on the coast path which, although still magnificent, I wasn't quite up to the challenge. Nevertheless, I still did it. I very much like these neatly laid out uh, crop fields. Aren't they marvellous? Arizion and Peronothno left behind, we headed further south down the west side of the Lizard. And uh, in, in good time, we got to Prussia Cove, which is a fascinating place. On the way there, I've met a group of uh, uh, folk who were repairing a, a very gullied footpath, and I was impressed that one of them knew the make and model of my walking boots, which I like very much. So we headed towards Pra Sands, and there's a story to be told here. So we coffed up at Prussia Cove, an oddly named place named after an old smuggler, we think. We saw another old cove who happened to be driving his Rolls Royce down the lane at far too uh, indecent a speed. A lovely spot, and on we walked towards Pra Sands. The question still remains for me then. Despite being told otherwise by a pair of redoubtable fellow walkers, for me, it's got to be Pra and not Pra Sands. Afternoon walking fans, uh, just got to the northern end of Pra Sands, which is a location of a Bennett childhood holiday in my deepest memory. Early 60s must have been. I'm not sure if Simon's around, I think he probably was a newborn or very, very young. Possibly stayed in that campsite up there, tucked into the hill. This is the main part of Pra Sands with the dunes. Um, got no real memories of it other than bizarrely feeling ever so anxious on the journey down and getting close to here dad appeared to be lost and of course he probably wasn't but I, I, I was sort of kind of imagining that we'd be stranded in the middle of rural Cornwall um, of course we weren't eventually found the place we were supposed to be down some narrow Cornish lane and probably a week or so of mucking around on this lovely beach and utter nonsense. You are welcome to walk on the paths indicated. How dare you? Right to Rome. Rock on. Prove me wrong. This next stretch, simply splendid. The abandoned engine houses and buildings of Wheel Prosper, which despite its name, didn't and was eventually closed down by an unscrupulous owner back in the day. So we left Rincey Head and Trewavas Head behind and walked on further to the south and towards a magnificent stretch of cliffs exposing some fantastic granite sheets really, those pale pinky orange light coloured sheets of rock cutting through the dark lizard rocks, well that's granite and it's thought to represent the very roof of a magma chamber that once was boiling full of magma many millions of years ago. In even time, we approached Porth Leven, and I was moved by this very simple memorial cross that's been erected to the sailors who perished along this stretch of coast. There's a similar one about another mile or so further south, looking down on the low bar. We reached Porth Leven, stopped briefly, 
put our waterproofs on as the rain came down and headed on, still quite a way to tramp. Hello walking fans, it's day five of, I'm on this lovely thing here which is unusual, it's a barrier beach, a bar called the Low Bar, L-O-E, could be pronounced Lou. Um, and uh, it blocks off a river that comes down from Helston. So that's the river there, the River Low or Lou. And that's the Atlantic Ocean. Um, It's been hard, hard work all week long. And what I thought was a 14 miler today is uh, that's enough, more than enough. So, uh, feeling pretty chipper, but, but as I say, pretty tired. And on we must go. Got a shingle beach to, to get across, which is bloody knackering. Then a hill to climb. Down again, and I'm hoping the uh, and his car will be close at hand once you've done that. About an hour, hour and a half perhaps of slog. Well sadly that was the last of my much loved grey baseball cap which I lost mid relieving myself on some breezy cliff top up above Poldu which we eventually reached and I was rather demotivated I guess pleased to get back to the car and didn't take any photographs so these rather sunny views come from our next walk on this fantastic bit of lizard coastline. So until the next time walking fans, see you soon.